Hi everyone, Callie here and we're on to day 18 of the 2023 LEGO Advent Calendars unboxing. Today I'm going to start with the Harry Potter calendar, which was the winning calendar yesterday for the Madame Rosmerta minifigure. So we've got her to populate the three broomsticks in Hogsmeade. And today looks like we have a little build, the turkey leg on it. Let's put it together. Okay, so it's a really nice little table. It's, it's those muted colors we've seen a few times in this Harry Potter calendar. It's got a nice turkey leg on there. And I actually really like that uh, accessory with the, the transparent cup that's filled with a drink rather than just being an empty goblet that we often see. I think it's supposed to be butterbeer, but isn't butterbeer like a lighter yellow? Honestly, I don't know. I've never had it. But that's a really nice build. Really good accessories, actually, if you're not interested in the build itself. But it would be nice, like, the friend set to have some chairs to go with it but maybe they will be behind tomorrow's door. We'll just have to wait and see. On to the Friends calendar, which yesterday gave us a parts pack so that none of our animals were going to be starving during the festive period. Uh, 18 at the top, and we have... Oh, it's a cute little animal! Let's have a closer look at this one. Okay, <laughs> this is the sort of thing that I think the advent calendars really should have more of. It's a very festive... <laughs> The <laughs> little dog. Those uh, those Christmas tree glasses are just like on point. I've said it before and it's the reason I got the France calendar is the animal molds are just spectacular. They're so detailed and so expressive. It's a phenomenal mold of a pug, honestly. Oh, it's so cute. I, I love those glasses. <laughs> it's this little smiley face. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. City Calendar is up next, and yesterday we had its entry into the Great Christmas Tree Comparison of 2023. So I wonder what we'll get today. Not sure, it's been a while since we've had a minifigure, so maybe one of those, or it could just be another another build. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, 18 at the top here, we have... Oh, hold on, malfunction. Ooh, presents! I like presents. That makes a lot of sense, because yesterday we had the tree, so here's the presents to go underneath the tree. I really like the vibrant colors they've picked here. Good colorways and they've used different shapes. So, you know, they're not all the same. They're not all boxes or rounds. And it's a really nice way of just showing how to use different parts to create presents that look very different. It's a nice sort of showcase for technique. I like the flowers on the top. There are different colors that just sort of, you know, add like that kind of bow feature without a lot of parts. I'm really pleased with these actually. I know it looks really simple, but they're really effective. And the Marvel calendar will round out today. We got the Cloak of Levitation yesterday. I'm assuming we'll get Doctor Strange today, but maybe not. Maybe it was just uh, they wanted to give everyone a cloak and to put on a minifigure. We'll see. Number 18 at the top. And we have... Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have Doctor Strange today. That's nice. We've had this Doctor Strange minifigure in quite a few sets recently, so he isn't exclusive to this particular calendar. But he is a phenomenal minifigure, and I'm so glad they included him for people that weren't able to pick him up in those other sets. Not only does he have beautiful, distinctive blue torso printing, but he also has leg printing on the front as well. This minifigure also has the Doctor Strange hairpiece with the wispy kind of grey bits at the side. And I want to give a final nod to the torso printing because the eye of Agamotto looks really phenomenal. Here's Doctor Strange with his reverse face and also his cloak from yesterday. And a nod to the fact that we got those transparent pieces so he's got an action pose as well. Overall, great figure. It was a pretty solid day, honestly. I'm not disappointed with any of these builds. I think they're all excellent. I'm most surprised by how much I like the presence in the SETI calendar. I am pleased that, that people have been able to get that Doctor Strange minifigure if you weren't able to buy one of the sets that he is in or even the poly bag that he came in. I'm not against the Harry Potter build. I think that's fine. I think it's really good parts and I'm kind of excited to see what might go with it in the next couple of days because that seems to be sort of the theme that we're going for. So that seems like it's something from the three broomsticks. Maybe we'll get something else from that too. But the winner today is definitely going to have to be the Franz calendar with that phenomenal pug. I adore the festive glasses printing. It's just something a little bit special that you will only really get in the advent calendar. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my assessments. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to let me know. And do remember to subscribe so you can find out what is in the calendars tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.